talk about something that kind of secretly launched a couple weeks ago. I really wanted to do a soft launch of it because um, I wasn't sure how it was gonna go, um, how you guys were gonna react to it. Um, but even as a secret program that we started, you guys found out about it. Lots of you have signed up. We have hundreds of stylists already in the last couple weeks, but it's the FSE Partner Program. What it is, is it's an online training. So uh, it's $10 a month, it's not free. It's live online classes that are pretty much weekly. You can see the schedule on fseondemand.com. Um, so we do live classes. Now that's not necessarily what you're paying for. What you're paying for is we have a listing on a website called hairsalonlocator.com also on freesaloneducation.com and all the stylists that train on these live videos um, get put on a map so that people that are requesting, looking, uh, customers that are looking for a great salon, a stylist that is um, doing extra training, following along what we're doing at FSE, they can find them on that map. So we're kind of building this big army of stylists all over the world. Um, this is not just in the US, we have partner stylists all over the world at this point. Um, so you could sign up anywhere. Uh, you pay the $10 a month, you get the classes, you'll get notifications. I stay up to date with you through email. I tried to throw a bunch of stuff in there that made it basically free. There's so many benefits to being a part of the program. Now, if you don't wanna pay the $10 a month, you like the free education, we're still doing free education. Obviously on this video, doing a free uh, haircut. I'm gonna continue to create free content nonstop all the time. Um, that's not what you're signing up for. You're signing up to be a part of a program that puts you on a map and makes you uh, available for customers that are constantly reaching out to us, trying to find good stylists all over the place. So that's really what it's all about. So if you wanna find out more information, uh, you can click the link in the description, in our bio, it'll be everywhere, um, or go to fseondemand.com to be a part of the program. And if you're a hopeful customer looking for a great salon, I can tell you that we're loading salons on hairsalonlocator.com constantly, and also on freesaloneducation.com, you can check the find a salon tab and it'll help you find salons out there that are training with us. And that's really, I mean, it's a new program, but you can definitely tell that if you go find a salon on there, they're a salon that's dedicated to growing themselves in the industry and that's really what you want when you're looking for a great salon. So I hope to see you part of the program. Let's get on with today's video. Here we go. What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So on the video today, what we're gonna focus on is cutting a face frame. Now we're gonna be creating a ton of texture, which um, I think is pretty modern now, a little bit of a shag feel to this haircut. We're gonna be cutting it with a center parting. And then also, this is a great haircut for thick hair because I'm gonna show you guys using the Donald Scott carving comb, which is one of my favorite razor tools just because it's so versatile. There's so much you can do with it. Um, it has a 100% cutting side and a 50% cutting side. So we're gonna use our 50% cutting side to debulk and then we're gonna use 100% cutting side to cut our line. So we'll debulk, cut a line, and I'm gonna show you guys where to do that uh, on the head shape where the density shifts. So that's gonna be some of the key things you'll learn in this video. Excited to show it to you. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Let's get started, here we go. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by sectioning straight down the center. Now the focus of this cut is to create a really nice face frame, take out some weight, we talked about that. Um, so first things first, gotta grab your guide. So I, I do my parting straight down the center, then I take a little piece for my guide out of the right hand side, and then I'm gonna take another little piece out of the left hand side, and then I'm gonna cut my guideline. Now I hold that down uh, right where I want that hair to fall, but I also don't hold it with a lot of tension. A lot of people wanna pull the hair tight, just hold it down where you want it to be, which for me, it was right around the chin, and then I cut it with the 100% cut side on the razor. This is the Donald Scott carving comb. We talked about it. We do sell it on freesaloneducation.com. Um, it's a $40 tool. It's one of my favorite razors because it has a 100% cutting side, which is what we're gonna use now. So I take a diagonal forward parting, over direct the hair to me, um, and then I use that 100% cutting side to slide the razor over the hair to create my line. Now, my line's gonna run parallel to that parting. So you'll see, I slide my hand down, create that um, angle, 
And then as I work down the head shape, so as I continue to take those diagonal forward partings, I start to get where the hairline drops down into the temple area. And when that happens, that's when you get more density. So when you look at where I'm cutting currently, um, there's not a lot of density. It's basically the forehead um, to the middle of the head. So now as I pull into that hairline, that hairline drops to the ear, that's when I start to get a little more density. So I'm gonna change up my technique, which is using the 50% cutting side. Uh, I slide that down the mid shaft to end, then I cut my line. And what that's gonna do is take out the bulk from the mid shaft area um, to create just a little bit sleeker feel to the end result to the layers. So you can see I 50% cut it and then I 100% cut the line. Um, just keeping that same angle, same elevation, wrapping the hair all the way around the head till you run out of hair. So, and then I glide through there with the razor and give it a cut. So you can see that shape that we really created. We pushed the hair off the face. So for me, there's three different types of haircuts. There's open haircuts, which is opening up the face, pushing the weight back uh, on the head. And then there's a closed haircut, which is pushing the weight towards the face. And then you have a balanced haircut, which is balancing the weight throughout the haircut, no over direction, uh, just coming straight out from the head. So using an open layered haircut technique, uh, it's really great for medium to longer hair. Um, to really make that hair kind of flow off of the face uh, so it's not hiding your guest's face. So keeping that over direction, uh, working my way all the way to the hairline right at the temple area, then when I get that extra density in there, that's when I go in with that 50% cutting side, take out 50% of it, then I go through and cut my line. Just gives me a nice sleek feel to this haircut. So one thing I want you guys to think about um, when you have your guest in the chair is that everybody's head is different. So I'm saying that this is a great haircut for high density hair. We're doing the 50% cutting side, but I'm not necessarily gonna do that on every single head. Uh, everybody's densities are different. So really focus on your guest density. If they don't have high density, then don't do the 50% cut side. Just do the haircut the rest of the way, the same way I'm doing it. Uh, now I'm going to go in, I'm going to style this haircut so you guys can see the end result. I'm using Paul Mitchell Neuro Style Reshape. It's a memory styler. So basically means that I'm going to style it this time. And then if she sprays a little water in her hair, re-blows it dry or whatever, it's going to stay in the hair and help her restyle it whenever she wants. I'm going in with Paul Mitchell Pro Tools Blow Dryer. Give me a little bit of volume nozzle off so that I can get that extra volume in there. And I work the hair till it's about 80% dry. And then I go in with my paddle brush and I kind of work the hair mid shaft to ends to really pull some smoothness to it um, because that's what I'm looking to do in this cut. So I don't want to just open up the cuticle and toss it around. I want to blow it dry, power it dry so I'm not spending a lot of time on it and then go through, smooth it out with the paddle brush. And then I've got the California Dreams uh, new iron from Paul Mitchell that they sent me it's totally my color um, and I'm gonna use that to style it I love using a wand to style the hair I go through I roll it back away from the face we did an open haircut to open up the face so I go in with the wand and I pull the hair back off the face it's just gonna help create that style really showcase that end result <laughs> finish it off with invisible wear undone texture hairspray create some texture really get my hands into it once that um that curl has set and you could see that shape like here's the thing that i love what you'll see is how it builds up that volume on the top but then in the sides it gets nice and sleek i understand the ends look a little weak it is a mannequin head i wanted to leave the length so it looks long but um on your guest obviously she has shoulders it's gonna look a little bit different hope you guys like it let me know in the comments Okay, so there's one thing I wanted to share with you guys that you may have noticed about me before, but that is the fact that I, I wear one type of shoe. This is the only shoe that I wear. Um, I don't like to overcomplicate outfits. So this shoe is a Vans all white shoe. Obviously as a hairdresser wearing a white shoe is not the best thing ever, but what I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that Vans, which is not a sponsor of this channel, but could be any moment if you want to, so could Zappos. 
Vans came out with a series of shoes that is actually for people that work in the service industry, um, that are on their feet all the time. They're super, super comfortable. So this shoe, the one I just showed you, is not that shoe, but this shoe is that shoe. So as you can see on the shoe, it says right here that it is made for the makers. So it is slip resistant, molded drop ultra cushion, sock liner for all day comfort, spill resistant, treated on the upper, and then moisture wicking lining. Tough shoe for tough jobs and the people who do them. Slip and stain resistant with superior comfort. So again, not a sponsor, I wish they were. I buy these shoes pretty much every month, so I would love it if they would sponsor. But if you're looking for a great shoe, go check it out uh, on Vans and the shoe for the maker. All right guys, and like always, if you like this video, then let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, at Free Salon Education. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.